Okay, I'm back with part two of my flea market haul today. I said I got some awesome deals. That whole half hour video previous to this one was $10 for everything. The rest of this is from a variety of vendors, but some of them still gave me some really good deals. So I got these upholstery braids. And there were um, upholstery tools and tacks and things there too. But I grabbed all of the braids in a variety of colors and she charged me $3 for all of them. So that's a lot here for three bucks. Just get them off the table. All right, then there was a woman who had her sister's um, art supplies out. Her sister is blind now and can't do her art anymore. So she saw me looking at all of these things and I knew I wanted some, like the watercolor stuff. And I was looking at the others to see if I wanted them and then she said she would sell everything to me for $5. So, all of this art stuff I'm going to show you was $5. This is um, Sharon Schnitty, and it's a paper cutting. It's a German craft. I'm not interested in doing Sharon Schnitty, but I thought there might be some interesting... I can use these pieces for sure. This isn't part of Sharon Schnitty, but these are. I thought there might be something I can use in my craft projects in here, and... I left one thing behind and it was uh, flower arranging. <clears throat> so it's got really cool patterns in here for paper cutting. We had a pastor who did Sharon Schnitty, which I thought was amazing. And this just has some decoupage pieces in it. Oh, that was a great bargain. Awesome. I can cut those out and use them in Christmas journals. I'll take them out so I don't forget they're in there. So this one has Christmas designs, Victorian country collection. So even these patterns would just be beautiful in a junk journal. Yeah, I'm glad I picked them up. I was going to leave this behind, but she said, <coughs> pardon me. If you didn't watch the previous video, I said it's a terrible, terrible allergy day. And then I went through all this old stuff. Oh dear, I think this is, oh yes! <coughs> this is parchment paper. Oh my goodness! I didn't know this was there. There's pink and green and gray, blue. Yeah, I think I bought this back when I was, um, back a long time ago, I bought this and used it all up. This is great. So that was a good deal. Well, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I was going to leave this along with the flower arranging stuff, but she said you can have those too for the $5. So since this was paper crafting, I took it just in case, and I'm really glad I did. I'm looking for my tissues. I had them with me for the first video. There they are. Okay, we're not done with art supplies. So I got this set of Rembrandt soft pastels in this cute little wooden box. Ugh, that foam is crumbling, but I'll play around with those pastels and see what I can do with them. I used to have pastels when I was younger. And then pencils. Cool. Pastel pencils. Conte a Paris. Oh, nice. I'll play with those, too. Okay. And there was one little foam brush there. And here's the watercolor pack. 
So there's a palette and some tubes of watercolor. They don't feel hard. Um, watercolor School, a practical guide to painting with watercolor. And some nice brushes. Ooh, they feel soft. <coughs> Princeton Art and Brush Company. Um, this set is Wildflowers Cut in You. Oh, stenciling books. Wildflowers and just stenciling. And it's on a nice card stack because you would use a knife to cut these out and then stencil through them, which I do not intend to do. But I can definitely use these images. And then stenciling. Oh, that's just a book about stenciling. Cool. I like those. And charcoal pencils. Oop, there goes one. This is a mar marking pencil in white. <clears throat> this is in an umbrella case. And the last thing was a calligraphy set. So I've got some drawing ink, which is quite expensive. Some nibs. There's the pen. Calligraphy kit with more nibs and what are these? Cartridges. Oh, different colors. I don't see the. I don't think this pen takes a cartridge, does it? Maybe I'll have to find a pen to put those cartridges in because I don't. I think this one you did. Oh, there she is practicing. And I don't want to lose those nibs. Some paper. Calligraphy writing paper. Oh, is this the one that uses the cartridges? I don't think so. I'll have to find out about that. If anybody knows, let me know. This is beautiful parchment paper again. I got lots of parchment paper today. There's the pen that they show that takes the cartridges. No nonsense fountain pen. Okay, so that was all five dollars for the art supplies. Um, I did get some other really good bargains too. Well, this one, this whole box of music that's the box is falling apart, was um, three dollars for all of it, and I don't even know everything that's in it. But this very very old. Masterpieces of Piano Music is just beautiful. I used to play that, Anitra's Dance. It's kind of classical, pretty much classical music. And it's beautiful. And this one is Polka Land from many lands. Papa's Pat Polka, Marietta. Listen, Mr. Leader. <laughs> and this was in it. Hammond's Modern World Atlas. So, I got maps. What else? An Elmira Lodge roster. Uh, Red Cross Home Nursing. This isn't just music. Um, New York Almanac. 1978. It's in pretty rough shape. Albany Guide. <laughs> Rotisserie. Cooking is a family affair. 
Ugh, country style. My dad really liked him, Buck Owens. I don't think I'll keep that book. It's falling apart. The Day of Chrysler's Farm. This looks like a battle. It's got a ticket in it. St. Lawrence Parks Commission, Upper Canada Village. Morrisburg, Ontario, Canada. So here we come to the music. Hannon, Virtuoso Piano. Look at that. Brahms, four piano pieces. The Art of Finger Dexterity. Bach, French Suites, and Bach, two and three part inventions. Paganini, Schumann, Schubert. Oh, there's a big book at the bottom. Mm, Beethoven, I love Beethoven. Great. My Stretch in the Service. Huh. Typewritten account of someone's military service. Um, this one is Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Records. Okay. And this is from a photographer. All right, so that's the music. That was all $3. I don't need that much music, so I'll be selling some of that. And I got this kind of a chenille bedspread for $2. Can't beat that. It's got some fringe. I have to wash it. And then I got this Christmas tablecloth for $1. And I can cut the squares out and use them in journals. And I'll be selling some of this too. And we're almost done. Oh, I found this. I paid three dollars for this set of stamps and I really only wanted one stamp but I had to have it. It's Creative Home Arts Club Life Member. Isn't that perfect for my domestic arts journals? Love it. And I can use the other stamps too but I had to have that one. This I paid three dollars for this whole little container of paper provisions. The start paper provisions. It says provision here. Paper ephemera. The Star Provision Company Animal Oils. Buffalo, New York. Monroe D. Ray, Chief Clerk. Monroe D. Ray, Fire Insurance Underwriter. This Monroe D. Ray person was a busy person. A check one hundred and fifty dollars. A couple of stamps are in there. A an April Fool's card. Never heard of an April Fool's card. Christmas postcard. Best wishes postcard. A Christmas postcard that's damaged. Happy New Year postcard, nineteen oh eight. Who's there? Just me. <laughs> Volume of Birthday Wishes. Aw, it's a cute little book. <coughs> Christmas Carols. An old receipt. Valentine card. It doesn't open. And a receipt with that really cool handwriting. 
$18.67. So it was three dollars for all of those papers. And this was pretty good. Um, this guy had lots and lots and lots of postcards and he had them a dollar a piece or some of them were two dollars each. And I saw this, see this box? It says a dollar each on it. But these are the cards that I love. They're the floral ones. Most of them. There's a few of the few that aren't floral, but I like them too. So I counted them and there were fifty in the box. Well I'm not gonna pay fifty dollars for postcards. So I asked him if he would give me a deal for the whole box and I told him how many were in there and he said he would take 35. So I gave him $35. Here's one that's not flowers. The original Texas steer. And I will be able to share some of these postcards with you. Oh, look at that one. You get the idea. 50 of them. So you can watch for them to be in my shop eventually. And I got some playing cards. These were cool. Coca-Cola cards. I was hoping that this lady would be on them, but she wasn't. There's the Jack. They're pretty neat. And ugh, this tin is very dirty. I don't believe that these are the cards that came in that tin because it's a Christmas design and it has the bicycle which these are these are bicycle well this one does say holiday pack holiday back and this one says rider back but it has the the bicycle design on there but they're red and green so this one might have been in that tin let's see what they look like I took them out to make sure I wanted them but they're not they're not those cards. These are from Turning Stone Casino, which is on an Indian reservation not too far from here. So they're not the cards that it pictures. And these had an interesting back on them, so I did get them. I think he charged me $2 for each tin. The other man in the blue van was there, and oops, there's another piece of that upholstery trim. And all I got from him, I think, were cards. So I got this set of Hallmark cards, and it came with this. Hallmark has a complete line of matching party accessories for all occasions. But these are bamboo, so there's a picture of bamboo with some writing there and a bird on a bamboo branch. So they're pretty. These cards were just all over in the box. We had to dig to get, find them all, but it's two dogs. So probably not all the cards are there, but most of them probably. So they're really, really cute. And then this one is Political Trivia Game. which I just thought would be a fun addition, something different. And then he had one box of slides. So I have one customer who's been waiting for me to get some slides. So Debbie, these are for you if you want them. I got this book. Do you see who the author is? Well, the illustrator. It says, The Hedgehog Feast by Edith Holden. Words by Rowena Stott.
The Hedgehog Feast is based on Edith Holden's exquisite watercolor illustrations, which were painted after 1911. They were undiscovered for many years. Her, grand, her great niece, Romina Stott, has added words to Edith Holden's paintings and line drawings to make up a delightful story. Oh. Let me see if I can fix you. Okay. So she had just painted and drawn these, and the niece put them together into a story. It's wonderful. And it's 1978. I got two more golden books. Bible Stories of Boys and Girls and The Ginghams. I think I just got The Ginghams last week. But I'm keeping that one to make a journal out of. So this one is written in. This one I'll be able to sell. And then lastly, I got this sheet of, the guy said Holly Hobby, but it's not. They're Holly Hobby-like characters, but they're not Holly Hobby. I did not argue with him. I think he charged me $3 for the whole sheet. And look at this ruffle. Isn't that beautiful? So that does it. An hour, hour's worth of filming almost here. And that's my haul for today. Now I have the chore of getting things organized and put away and laundered. But I can deal with that. I got some really good deals. I was planning on going up to Horseheads half an hour away from me to go to my craft stores because I'm I'm needing some adhesives and you know basic stuff, some ink. But I got so wiped out at the flea market. It was hot and I was exhausted. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go up a little bit later or maybe I'll go another day. But anyway, you don't care about that. That's it for, for my haul today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.